Hello, my lovely Leos. <clears throat> How are you? I've been better. However, we got to get these reads out, baby. I missed you too much last month. I had no one to play with and talk to. Like, we always talk. We're always talking. Anyways, y'all know I love you guys, right? Because we're a tribe. We're the Leo tribe. Okay. Can't nobody mess with us. So, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for love, 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 and money. Yeah, two things we do love, right? Now, with that being said, what we are going to be doing is we're going to look at a general just for everybody. Then we're going to go to singles. Then we're going to go to couples. Then we're going to see every sign that wants to be with us. Okay. And then we look at our money. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, where have you been? You should be here. You should hit that like, that share, and subscribe. And we should be besties. And you should be on Instagram. And we should be hanging out. Anyways, with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. And yes, I'm extra. All right, I am super extra even when I'm sick. Now, with that being said, let's talk about some important dates that you should mark on your calendar. The fourth Venus enters into Scorpio. Love is getting hot and heated and in the sheets, baby. We are wanting to get a deeper connection. All right. Now, Neptune goes direct in Pisces. It's been retrograde since June 30th. And it's going direct, releasing all of the illusions, letting all the truthlessness come out, like they say. And it's going to be an interesting ride. Now, on the 12th, new moon in Sagittarius. And the energy for you, my love bug, is to get the answers that you need. I believe, like, when I'm looking at all of your cards, I'm thinking very solution-focused. Do not get consumed by the problem, okay? Look at the solution. If you were to wake up tomorrow and this problem went away, what would you find yourself doing? I don't know. It's a miracle question. Write it down. Figure it out. Get the answers that you need. I also feel that there's going to be a lot of communication coming in, letting you know what it is, baby. You're about to find out everything. Now, on the 13th, Mercury, it goes reggaeton, it goes retrograde in Capricorn, 8 degrees, communication, travel, but we're talking about things that are karmic, things that are um, governing, rules, things of that nature. We even talk about our career. Lots of changes. Now, this Mercury retrograde starts off in Capricorn on the 23rd, it goes to Sagittarius, and on the 1st, it's direct. All right? Now, on the 21st, go hug a Capricorn. They need it. I promise you, I did their reading. Caps need lots of love, all right? Now, 26, full moon in Cancer, four degrees. Now, this full moon is really helping us focus on our home front. And Leo, that is a lot of your energy that's coming out in your oracle also. The home front is very important for you right now. You want to make your house a home. You want to make everything comfy and you want to decorate. You're all about the festivities right now. All right. I just left a fellow Leo's party uh, that we had at her school to get. Well, I co-hosted. I was just like the photographer and held it, like, held it down a little bit. Um, she did all the decorating. And I have to say it's a... Uh, Amazing. It was so much fun. Now, with that being said, your focus for this full moon in Cancer is about traveling. So you might be going to go see new people, scheduling a new trip, trying to get that get that fun in. All right, Leo, because you're all about fun. Now, on the 30th, Jupiter will go direct. All right. So we are going to have a lot of this new energies. Everything's starting to get into place. Everything's trying to be clear again. Things are moving forward. So let's get into your oracle read, my lovely sunshine, my beautiful Leo, ew, my Leo lion, ew. <coughs> so this is earth magic, nature, rituals, and charms. I really feel like it's time to connect with um, nature right now. I know for some it's really, really cold outside, but you could... Buy a plant, you could hold crystals, you could look at nature scenes, you could listen to nature. Depends on what sense you're really trying to connect with. I also feel like starting a good ritual of grounding is going to be very important as you move forward. Now, the astrological aspect that wants to play with your read today is that of the seventh house. The seventh house is ruled by Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. And we're talking about relationships, baby. Seventh house rules your relationships. It's going to be a huge thing this month, okay? Pay attention to the ninth. Okay, I also feel like in this energy is you're like starting to realize what is it that I truly want in a relationship and how do I want it to be, right? 
Now, your guys are saying harness that energy of an ant and not the ant with the bad BBL. Okay, not that ant. Okay. Anyways, this ant is going to be you, baby. And what the ants are here is about cooperating for the highest, greatest good of the community. But this is about making your house a home, really doing that work. And I want to say, like, look. I'm four foot nine, but I do a lot of stuff, okay? I am a little powerhouse, and that's what an ant is, a powerhouse. Your heart is amazing, Leo. Nobody has a heart like yours, like nobody. It's amazing. You love unconditionally, except for yourself sometimes. You love everybody else but yourself. But this is telling you, like, let's get your home in order. Let's get our life in order, because we're about to bring some people in it and enjoy it, right? Now, your guides want you to imagine solutions. That is get out of problem-focused conversations. If you find yourself leading yourself to like, oh, negative, 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 and only focused on like this bad stuff, stop yourself. Stop yourself and start looking at what a solution would look like for you, okay? How can we make this work? How can we make it better? So this is where we get into the yes or the no. I want you to think about two questions in your mind's eye. What do we have? This is going to be one of those reads. All right, overall, you better get that strength, baby. You better be a full-blown bad buddy Leo, okay? Can't nobody mess with you. So for question number one, there's this song by Gloria Estefan coming out of the dark. Like, that is you. Lights are on. It's a no. You needs to go. Some, some truth is going to be revealed, and you're going to see something for exactly what it is. For question number two, it's a no, it's a devil. I don't, and if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a tech. Ew, okay? New moon energy in the background right here. So I'm going to say around the 12th, you're going to find some information out that eek, you're not going to like, okay? But it's going to be a much needed information so that you can move forward. Now, we are going to be talking about generally in love, and this is for all signs, just some aspects to look for and to think about when we're moving forward in love. And let's see here. Your guiding card is the Queen of Roses. So, Leo, this is you walking into a marriage, you walking into a relationship. That seventh house was lit up. Remember, you could possibly be having a baby. You are all in love. And it's a yes. Yes! Okay, luck is on your side. Lucky, lucky Leo and lucky, lucky Ladybug you are. I am super excited for you. Okay, so what are some things Leo can look forward to as a general reading? What can they look forward to in love? What can they look forward to? Surrender. Put those walls down, my love bug. Just let it all go and enjoy. Just say yes to the dress, okay? Because you have a lucky, lucky suitor coming in who wants to bring you something. There is something with roses, okay? Roses are coming out in both cards. He has a whole bunch of roses and... There's roses there. So pay attention to that. Somebody wants to lay you down in a bed of roses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or give you some roses. And it's going to take some work. So this all uh, this could be like y'all talk a lot during work or you met them through a work situation. But this is something you've been manifesting or they've been manifesting. Because look at this image. He's like, I want this. And there you are. So I kind of feel like the energy of Pisces is very strong right now. So thinking about the Piscean energy is that of Neptune, of love, of dreaming, of romance. And I feel like this is going to be a month of romance and excitement coming in for you. There is a lot of work ahead. And I do believe that there is a lot of good energy around your love life. Mm, even though those yes and no cards were rough, right? They were rough. So, let's jump into singles, okay? So, what is the message for singles? Water signs wanted to jump out for you, so you might have a little water sign after you. Love spell. You've been bewitched or someone is bewitched by you, okay? Looking good, Leo. Looking like a million bucks. Is that my baby hair? Like, my goodness, I have a big forehead. It's because I have a big brain. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. What does Leo got coming in for love? What is our lucky Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Because we're listening for love. What do we got? We're letting it all go. We're leaving the past behind. We're burying the hatchet. F you, Mercury retrograde. You're not going to get up in my mix. 
Okay, because we've been working on the railroad boo. We've been working on ourselves. We've been manifesting, creating, and doing the damn thing. All right, and there they are, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone who is very much on their game. This is a big offer coming in for you. Someone who's like very warm. They could have, they could like dogs or have a dog. And it's about to change your life. There's that Scorpio energy, transformation. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. What is going on? We're walking away. We are going to change this. Someone's been holding on to something. There's somebody who's been holding on to an energy that needs to be released. Uh, you thought you were working on it. You meet someone and then you're like, you. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Let's see. Five of Cups, what do you have for us? The Knight of Swords, quick communication is coming in. Trust your intuition. Okay, look. During this time... Oh, I grabbed the wrong deck. During this time, right? During this time with Mercury retrograde, Neptune going direct, the nodes are changing. Like, <coughs> I've had at least six people circle the block. Like, whoa. No. Like, just because people circle the block, that means they come back, guys. Doesn't mean you have to take them. Four of Swords. You're done taking that information see how someone wants to talk to you okay like they want to talk to you and you're like no <laughs> like should i know i said no <laughs> all right i'm excited i said no i said no okay we're not doing this what does the eight of pentacles want you to know whoop whoop the ten of pentacles we know our worth now we know what we want And we're not accepting anything less. There's the door. There is the door. There is a situation, the fourth could have been very important for you, that there is this vibe, right? This vibe of like, I'm not doing this with you anymore. We're not going to do this. Um, no, you cannot come back. Okay, you have worked really hard. You feel complete and this individual cannot come back. Someone who couldn't figure themselves out. Someone who might be conflicted. Somebody who doesn't even know what they want, but they feel that they can come back in and out whenever, whenever they feel like it. And we're not going to do that. Okay, we're not. So then we have this king of pentacles coming in and he got that wolf by him or the German shepherd. Okay, and a big offer so sometimes when we've experienced situations where we've been offered really nice great things and it blows up in our face we're like ew I don't ever want to feel like that again so we could block a blessing so there is going to be a few people that want to come back let's get a description of the person who wants to come back just one because I'm sure you have more than one Leo I know I have let's see here what do we have <laughs> A cancer, possibly. This person has a very angular jaw. They're very stout. They're very strong. Doesn't have to be cancer energy. They're like a brick house, baby. Gemini energy. They got some thick thighs that save lives. You love their body. They look good, okay? And then we have here green eyes, healthy, tall, and a Capricorn, possibly. Now, I don't know if this number means anything to anyone, but 415, okay? Okay. Now, let's look at this King of Pentacles energy. Is it worth our time? Let's see. Because he wants to bring in change. Someone wants to have a stable relationship with you. The four of wands. They want to come in. They want to have fun. They want to enjoy you. But there's a tower moment. And a lot of communication going on. So... I think we're going to pull on this tower moment, right? I think this is what I'm feeling, that this person wants to come in and have fun. And y'all are having fun. And it feels great and amazing. And you realize it's moving so fast. It's so fast. It's changing everything. And Leo, you do not like change. You're like, whoa. Whoa. You cannot revoke my player card. Like, I have worked so hard on this player card. I am, I am so good at living my life. I don't need this anymore. But 
this tower that's coming in is a very intense tower. What is this tower about? Communication, information, key communication and information about a commitment. Leo, it makes you nervous. Somebody wants to tie you down. Why are you afraid? What are you afraid of? What is that about? Spy. So, oh, and someone else. There is someone else out there trying to get into this new connection of yours. All these other people from the past, old habits, things like that. And you're like, press the brakes. I'm not ready. I don't know if I could do this. And the truth of the matter is, is that you can. But it's your choice. King of Pentacles, what are your intentions? Four of Cups, Page of Wands, and Justice. This person is not interested in a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This person is interested in a long-term connection, and they want commitment. For some Leos, it scares the F out of you, okay? I get it. I get it. Sit with this. Think about it. This individual wants a long-term relationship with you, and it kind of freaks you out. So let's see here, Scorpio. I mean, not Scorpio. What's the transformation card I want you to know? The moon. The six of wands. The queen of swords. Okay, so this is what I'm picking up here. There's going to be some clarity that comes to you. You're going to go for it, and you might get your cold. You might start getting a cold heart. Okay, like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can do this. This isn't for me. It's like you get in your head a lot. Pay attention to the 18th. <coughs> Pay attention to the 26th. So you're kind of in this confusion state, right? Like you're not sure what you should do. And you start thinking about what happened in the past. And if we get stuck there, we get stuck in that illusion of it's all going to end the same. Then we just wrote our story for the month. Well, we really want the Ace of Wands. When you're ready to let this go, when you're ready to commit, it's right there for you. The commitment is right there. And they're coming quick. But you're not too quick. <laughs> They're coming for you very quickly. Chariot energy, strong Cancerian energy. This individual might live at a distance. This person might have to come see you um, from far away or like from another town, an hour away, hour and 30 minutes away. But they are coming to get you, boo. And this other individual who's planted this seed of doubt in your head that makes you feel like you're not enough, that was a lie. Because this one says, I'm not interested in a quickie. I'm interested in a solid relationship with you. But in order for us to have that relationship, I need you to commit to me. I need, I need commitment. Maybe you're telling them that. I don't know, but that's, that's the energy. Ten of Swords, King of Cups. So you are going towards somebody who can provide emotional support and maturity. Leaving the Six of Cups major choice two of wands forward movement which helps you have the ten of cups you are this is one of those months like you're gonna be all in here right okay all up in that headspace but it's gonna be good okay give me clues on give me clues on this energy of the the king of cups vibe they give you power. They make you feel empowered. They dress well. Pay attention to the 16th. And they make you feel safe. They make you feel safe. And there could be something about rain. Um, but they just, and they just fucking dress good. Like you love the way they dress. You guys get dressed up to go out. You guys feel really good. They always compliment you on how you dress. This is like something that wants to get you to the next level. However, you're used to Shady McGrady energy, and that feels familiar to you. You're familiar with that energy, and that energy is not doing you any good. So, there's a very strong possibility that mid-month or very, very soon, somebody wants to get a commitment from you. That tower scares me. Do not ruin a good foundation because you can't get out of your head, okay? 
So, <coughs> we're going to get some guidance here real quick um, on this situation. Also, there was two tens. This is a great time at work. There was two kings in your read. You will be recognized at work. I feel like a lot of people are going to be singing your praises. They really like what you do. And I also want to say that you might be offered um, some extra projects at work because you're doing so well. Um, I want to look at this Three of Swords just for extra funds and giggles. Um, I'm going to go to a different deck that I haven't used. Okay, let's see. Three of Swords. What would help with this? Your devotion is your strength. Hanuman. Hanuman is a very loyal energy. Lakshmi. You are the alchemist to create your abundance. One more, one more. And express your soul's unique vibration. It's time for you to be loyal to yourself, to honor yourself, to get back to you, to honor your finances, your time, your energy. And this King of Pentacles values that in you and you value that in them. But as soon as they say the word commitment, you're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> That, that that was the point, right? That they wanted to fall in love. Okay, let's get some Oracle, and then we're going to see who's coming in for Leo. But let's get to the Oracle. Let's see what's going on with the Oracle message. We have here Action Jackson, baby. Let's tap that ass, baby. All right, we got to speak about it with the fish chakra. Ooh, we about to put our, our words and our actions together and make a happy home. Someone's about to settle down because you're feeling appreciated. You're feeling like, whoa, all of this for me? Like, this is for me? Ah! Okay, let's see here. Action, action. What do we have here? Health. Some of y'all could be um, taking, going to the doctor, getting checkups. There's also something about your cardio, working out more. Um, could be on a, on a workout plan. Archangel Gabriel with the fifth chakra is watching over you. There's also a loved a, a, a lost loved one who watches over you. And I know like um, for some of us who um, have lost really important people in our lives, the holidays are very hard. Um, so I am going to um, take a second. And I'm going to pull um, some Lenormand for that special message. Big mama energy coming in. Um, this is like a feminine energy and overbearing energy. Um, very strong Pisces energy is coming in in Aries. This is an energy that someone who watched over us financially also. And they want us to think about our health. And that's that Capricorn energy. They could have had green eyes, hazel eyes. There's also Mediterranean looking energy, very burly energy or very curvy energy. Um, and let's just see. Now, may this message resonate with whoever needed it. Let's take some moments. What do they need to know? Strong Pisces. My mom was a Pisces. Surrender. Catch your Scorpio Pisces. Accept the good things that are coming to your life. Stop punishing yourself. And reflect. Look how far you've come. You put in a lot of hard work there, Leo. And you should be proud of yourself. But they do want you to take care of yourself, gosh darn it. Okay? So let's go to the temple path. What is the message for the temple path? What about our home? What about our home? We have got to figure some stuff out about our home. I don't know. That one doesn't make sense to me, so let's get another one. Trust your intuition. Who are you letting into your home? <coughs> Pay attention to that. Who's coming into your home? Who do you let around your kids? When does your home feel like a home? Okay? Pay attention to those things. And appreciation from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay? They're just like in awe of you. Okay. Let's go to see who is coming in for my beautiful Leo. Who's coming in for my beautiful Leo? That was a very um, emotional message, and I apologize. 
All right, let's see. We have, oh, big booty hoes, hump with it. <laughs> we have someone who's a little bottom heavy, a little thickums. Okay, they got some nice thighs to save lives. Okay, the anchor, curvy, hips, ew, 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 tan, colored eyes, Capricorn energy possibly. Doesn't have to be that sign. Ooh, we got tall, strong, and silent type. We got the mountains. They got a big head, gray, for gray forehead, gray in hair, Aries energy, Aries. Oh, you got them horns coming at you, boo. And then we got the moon. This person could have very fair skin or very smooth, luscious skin, old school Hollywood. That's what I think of all the time. And they um, have Cancerian energy. They could be very emotional also, which is something new for you. I hate when I drop stuff. Yeah. Anyways, clues. They they love flowers. That came out earlier. You might be y'all might go eat sushi or y'all might go like y'all talk a lot about cuisine and food. Very strong energy. I feel like their moon could be a fire sign, like Aries Leo Sag Moon. This individual is also very like, how, how do I say it? Like, they want to see you all the time. They don't care if it's the middle of the day. They don't care if it's nighttime. They're open to any time of the day to see you, okay? And they have interesting hair. All right. Let's see, enough playing with you singles. Let's go to our beautiful couples. Let's see what our couples got going on. And couples, these are people who know they're together, right? They know they're in a relationship. They know each other's name. It's not just up here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You got, you might be talking about babies moving in together. Getting married. But there's some challenges. Make a decision and do some inner work healing. You know, that's what um, damn dirty singles should have gotten. Because they're over here making it harder than what it is. Just commit. Commit to something. What do we got here? We have the not. The King of Swords, right here. King of Swords. Aries got that in the same spot. This is about communication. Your person is wanting to communicate about a new beginning, the Ace of Wands. They want to be starting something. And they see you as the Ten of Swords. There's been a lot of miscommunication lately, possibly, Leo. Um, and they want to start over. They want to start fresh. Oh my goodness, just like Aries, and I've shuffled the moon right by the king. So there's something being withheld, maybe, like they want something and they're not telling you. The queen of pentacles is coming through. And the eight of wands. Lots of communication and a lot of documentation. There's a lot of stuff going on. And overall, we have the hermit. What a beautiful card, right? So... Let's break this down. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on with my beautiful, I'm like, which cards did I grab? Beautiful, lovely Leos. Leos in love. So, <coughs> King of Swords by the Moon. I feel like they are hiding emotions. They're not telling you everything. There's also something about a move, because I have the Hermit right by the Moon. The 9th and the 18th, I already wrote that down for you. Okay. King, what's up? Seven of Wands, protecting himself, doesn't know what they want to say to you about moving forward in their relationship. Somebody wants to get married, somebody wants to take this relationship to the next level, and they're like, how the hell, how the hell do I tell Leo this? How the hell do I tell them that I'm so in love with them? Because they've taken a long time, like they're like taking their time to do what they need to do, and they're kind of afraid that you've moved on and you don't feel the same because maybe the communication has gotten weird. There's also something about somebody being on a trip or going on a trip. Maybe y'all are planning a trip. They want to be your king of cups or they want you to be theirs. They want nurturing. They want love. They want affection. Again, two kings in this read. So look forward to a promotion or people talking really well about you. They see you as the whole damn package. You are everything to them. And you're not talking. They're like, why are you not talking to me when I, lo I love you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? They're afraid. 
that's what they're hiding, that they're afraid that you're sneaky and you're lying because of what they've gone through in the past and they don't want to talk about it. So they're kind of like waiting. They're like, okay, if I don't say anything, you know, like, what, what, what do we do? Like, how does it work out, right? So what comes between y'all is this Queen of Pentacles energy with the King. You guys are supposed to be together. The King and the Queen, you got three Kings, so boo, you getting a, you getting a promotion. But y'all are confused. Because something is taking so long, or there could be an issue with a child, okay? And y'all are trying to heal that, Four of Swords, this confusion. We finally talk about it with the Eight of Wands. We're going to talk about it. But someone is still holding back. Seven of Wands, which leads to the terms. This is about communication, Leo. This is about really speaking from your heart, really coming from your heart. There you are. This person... Either you're holding back or they're holding back. And that is the challenge. And if you continue to hold back, someone's being left out in the cold. Okay? This is about this person wants to go to the next level with you. This is almost like the singles read. They want to go to the next level and you're like, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I thought something fell out. Let's see. There's something blocked. A new beginning. From a, a new social burden or a problem <coughs> that gets in the way of um, the home or stability. And there's an invitation. So there's also an invitation to like um, a religious, a social event, a house party. It's new. It's coming out of nowhere. And you guys are, y'all might face something there that makes y'all feel uncomfortable. Okay. However, communication is key. And Leo, it's time for a new pair of boots. Just thought I would say that. I just feel like that I should tell you, go buy some boots because I like boots. Very interesting energy coming in. Like, it's like they see you as all that and everything they've ever wanted, but they're afraid to like really let you know because you're kind of shut off to it. And Leo, I'm over here saying, y'all have a big old heart, y'all have a big old heart. And you don't, even, you don't even like playing the game with this person. So, remember, there's some inner work, Leo, that you've got to do in order to move forward. That was your oracle. So, let's go to the, a little bit of guidance this month on how to move forward. How is Leo in love going to move forward? We're going to pray. We're going to release anxiety. And we're going to put more love in it. And your money gonna get better too. I'm telling you, Leo, you're just a hot damn mess, and I love it. I love it. There's a lot of things, you know, cycles, 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 karma, things are ending, things are beginning, and it's like you don't want to let go of it. I think the 18th is gonna be a very anxious day for you. So give yourself some time. You need a trip. Maybe somebody's coming to visit. Maybe y'all are planning a trip. But it gives you a little bit of anxiety. And open up your heart. And your partner could be at a distance and you're really craving intimacy. And it's time to invest in your relationship. It's time for you guys to schedule a honeymoon, go out more, have a staycation, hang out, be in love. All right, so this is a part of the reading where we're going to go into the signs. All right, Leo, this is part of the read where we jump in and we talk about you and the signs from Aries to Pisces. Let's have some fun. Remember, this is a tarot reading. All right, not a personal read, bro. It's not a personal read. All right, Leo, calm it down. Take it down a notch. Let's see what we got going on. Lucky day is the 11th for you guys. Where's your, where's your notes, boo? Over here. All right, 4, 5, 6, 9, 11, 16, 18, and 26. 26. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. So, 
So the King of Pentacles reversed with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of us feel like if we are unable, to, if you're not able to supply what I need, I can do it alone, then you got to go. And we're tired of being manipulated by someone who wants to financially control us or manipulate us. Leo, I think as like as you're getting your house in order, you're also getting your finances in order. I like it. Let's see here. My card's broken. I'm about to tape it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. One random message. We have a jumper. The seven of arrows comes out. And in this card, it's two Hittite soldiers just going through the cornfields. Okay. Get the information you need to proceed, okay? And you will get a revelation. All right, let's see here. We have Leo. You are the Ten of Wands reverse. You are tired of carrying a very heavy burden. And Aries is wanting to change. We need a change. So what is the answer? A trip. We need a trip. And there's also something about you letting them know. Letting them know that you're tired of carrying a burden. There's more communication needed. Lucky day, 11. Leo, you are the Nine of Pentacles, and Taurus <coughs> is the Knight of Wands reverse. Like, there's no passion, and they feel you feel neglected. Um, no, they feel neglected because you're working all the time. You work a lot. You, you, they don't feel like you really like them, the Eighth, or love them. They're like, what the hell? What are we doing this for? You are madly in love. You feel like you found your soulmate. And Gemini says, hey, can we talk about it? And it's been a little bit rough, okay? Someone's got their walls up. All right, Leo, let's see. You are the hermit, uh, the Hierophant reversed. You like that non-traditional relationship. And Cancer says, no, uh-uh. Solution, we need some healing, okay? There could also be some spiritual differences. Lucky day, the 12th. Leo, what's going on? You are upset. And the other Leo is not talking. Yeah, we are not talking. We have some miscommunication. And the solution is we got to work. We got to talk about this. The 12th could be very important. Leo, you are the hermit. You are like, okay, my house. And Virgo is the, the king of pentacles reverse signifying, I don't think that you guys, I think you're trying to stay away from this Virgo. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in the middle. And I, this is going to sound really weird. So I don't know if there's a third party or if you're the third party, but there's something getting in the way of this who is closer to this King of Pentacles. And I think you might hear from them, whether it's their sister, because she, that the Queen of Pentacles is Tammuz's sister. But there's like this energy of you not wanting to hear or see what's going on. And I think it's time you open it up. You might even be having a dream very soon. Lucky day, the sixth. You are being brave and courageous, Leo. And Libra is all about the shenanigans. The solution is go for it. Let's do it. Leo and Libra in love. Lucky day was the third. All right. You're feeling like your world's upside down. You feel like this shit ain't working. And Scorpio said, you can't touch my lady parts. Okay, what's going on? Solution is it's just not working. I feel like there's miscommunication, especially about a sexual situation. And I almost want to say, like, you don't like the way things are going. Scorpio is hoping you come back. But I don't think you will. Because in this card, this is when the two buddies, they're not buddies no more. There's a little bit of betrayal. And you really feel like this person was your soulmate. Leo, you're not feeling yourself because you're reversed. And Sag is like, make a choice, boo. Solution, let's fight. <laughs> In the bedroom, no. There's a lot of conflict going on. I feel like you feel disempowered right now. Okay? Lucky day is the sixth. Leo, you're chariot reversed. Are you having car issues? What's going on? And Capricorn, disillusion. Be careful if y'all are drinking and driving. The solution is let's not do this. Let's just throw it all away. Let's just stay in tonight, okay? Because there is a lot of weird energy going on there. It was like a false start. Somebody's stuff might not have worked, okay? Something like that. All right, moving on. Leo, you trust in your intuition. You're that high priestess. And Aquarius is stuck. They ain't going in the right direction. Solution. 
it's their way or the highway, and I, I want to say, like, you're just like, stop. Just stop. Don't call me. Okay, that's what you want. Don't call me, all right? Leo, you've been praying, because you need to. Because, Leo, you need to pray. Let's see what you're praying about. <coughs> Communication, more communication, and Pisces said, let's go half on a baby, and the solution is maybe in another nine months. No, broken promises. So I feel like you want to talk about a broken promise. This person is always trying to say something, and I feel like, let's get another card for you. You're going to go for it. Be careful because you're very fertile. You and Pisces together could, could make a baby. Very beautiful energy, you know? So let's go and find out what's happening in your money sector. So when it comes to your finances, you have that of will, wisdom, and, wait, will, wisdom, and mind, right? So it's a trifecta. Um, and in this situation of your finances, I believe the second house, because it comes down to the 20th, right? It's 20 on the card. 20th could be very important for you too. Um, you have to start thinking about what, what what rules your second house. So like if your second house is ruled by cancer, you could probably make a lot of money by nurturing others, working from home, being a caregiver, um, you know, anything with emotions, things like that. You know, you're really good at it. Maybe your second house is ruled by Gemini, you know, and so you're very good at making money by talking, you know, being a good speaker, being dynamic at a communicator. Maybe you're great at um, navigating sticky solutions, right? Getting people to talk. So let's see what's going on with your finances here. Oh my gosh, it's Knight of Swords. Get out of our read, sir. <laughs> Stop. No, the Knight of Swords coming in with some quick communication. But we're ready to go. That chariot's awaiting you. <coughs> you are ready to go. Page of Swords. We are cutting something off. You could be torn between something with children. There's a huge offer. I want to say Cancer Energy is coming in really strong for you. Queen of Cups comes in. And we're healing financially. There's a lot of healing going on. There's some big money coming in too. So there is a big opportunity with finances coming in for you. Knight of Swords. What are you about? The King of Swords. There's a family situation. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a coughing episode. Hold on. There's a situation. I got a father, son, daughter, mother, blah, 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 blah. Everybody here. But you feel like I have to make a decision. Quick decision. And you make this quick decision with the chariot, and you're putting your you're putting your foot down. You're done. You're not accepting their offer, and you get two offers. Okay, you're gonna get something new. So I feel like the 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 Knight of Swords comes in acting like a king, acting like this is the best thing that could ever happen to you. And you're like, hold on, let me think about it. And then you get on your chariot, or you get in the car, and you start driving. And you're thinking about it. And you're like, wait a minute, I don't want that. I don't want that shenanigans. Look, this fell out. There is a man, the owls, and the luck. So there is a man who comes in. This person has very beady eyes, a pointy nose. Um, they want to change your luck. <coughs> a masculine energy wants to come in and change your luck. And you're going to think about it. And you're going to wait for key information to come in. So the page brings in some information. What does this page bring in for you? What does this page bring in for Leo? Another offer. Six of Cups. You don't know what to pick. So you take a break. You're going to move away from it. So then you start thinking, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? And the Queen of Cups comes in, right? She's like, trust your intuition. You need a contract. You need a format. There's also um, some kind of form of recognition that you're going to get at work. There's some documentation that's going to come through. There's a partnership that you're going to have this month that's going to lead to something really great and an initiation of a new project, okay? The Four of Swords is don't get in over your head. Wait till the full moon. More gifts are coming to you. Ace of Pentacles, what is this? There's a big blessing coming in for you at work. Lots of recognition coming in for you. Um, paperwork coming in. You are changing the whole way that you do business. I do feel like there's a lot of people looking at you. They're like admiring you. You're just really standing out in the work front. And I also want to say like you are killing it. 
you know, and you know which offers to take and what not to take. Page of Wands, you're getting really excited, okay? You're going to make the right decision because it's, it's what you deserve for the Ace of Pentacles. So double Ace of Pentacles in your read. You're going to be so lucky in money that like love, eh, that's probably why you don't want to commit. No, I'm just kidding. No, look at this. You are so excited about this decision, about this contract, about this, this energy that's coming in and it's going to work and it's going to be a blessing and you're going to love it. So that is really beautiful energy recognition at work, a possible promotion. Um, it's just like things are working in your favor and it's a beautiful energy and you deserve it. Okay. The lovers by justice, it's, it was the right choice. There's a lot of twin energy, a lot of Gemini energy coming through. Guidance for my boo bears. We have money, cornucopia. We got all kinds of blessings. You also could be working with the community, doing community service. Things are going well for you, but watch out. Okay, what are we lucky in? You are just standing bright. You are. Everybody wants a piece of you, baby. You're healing. You're healing. You're moving forward. The number 777 is going to be showing up for you. But of course, be aware, you have a lot of haters. We're used to it by now, right? And release the anxiety. That promotion, that recognition, that offer that came to you, that makes you stand out because you're you, you deserve it. You've worked hard. You deserve to be happy. We all do, but you have worked really, really hard, Leo, to get to where you're at. Congratulations. It's going to be a great month. All right. So with that being said, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. I hope you have a beautiful month. Happy holidays. Hit me up for a read and let's hang out. Love you. Bye.